Hey, what's up, guys? It's Marshall. Uh, coming back at you with another video. Today, I'm working on a 2016 International Pro Star Cummins uh, Eaton Fuller 10 speed transmission. And this truck uh, is giving me some transmission issues. The truck would not move forward or back. So I hooked up my computer on it and Service Ranger. And I have some fault codes that are coming up uh 45 64 64 is going in and out and 13 all these three four codes are all related to the electronic clutch actuator which is underneath the control uh, underneath the which is underneath the um the transmission on the side that's what actuates opens and closes the clutch um to, to to let the transmission get into gear in and out of gear it has sensors on it to where if those sensors are not uh, activated then uh, it will, the truck will be stuck but anyway I'm gonna take you along a journey to uh, how to change that actuator uh, the reason why I'm making this video is because uh, in the past I have been ripped off by a mechanic he told me like about how rocket science changing this clutch actuator was of course me being on the side of the road I was desperate I just told him to just get it done you know do your rocket science and it costed me a lot of money but uh, the next time it happened uh, it was at the yard so I took the time to do it myself and I found out it was a no-brainer there was no rocket science it's plug-and-play so I'm gonna take you along the journey so I can show you just in case you're in this situation uh, you can put your hands on the clutch actuator and change it yourself it's pretty simple uh, as long as you don't mind getting dirty, it's all right. But anyway, uh, I'll show you as soon as I get underneath the truck and I'll, I'll show you how, where it's located, how it comes off, and so we can go ahead and replace it. All right, so here we are underneath the truck. Uh, of course, that's the front of the truck. That's the front of the truck. That's the rear of the truck. And on the transmission, uh, there's this item right here that's called the same uh, actual uh, that's called the uh, the electronic clutch actuator uh, and obviously before you start taking it apart and all that stuff just check make sure your plugs are plugged in you know you don't have any wire that came off or anything they usually have a zip tie on them so that they don't get pulled and in this case these two look like they're okay uh it's 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 a matter of taking off this thing which is like the cover comes off with four bolts then taking off the actuator itself with four bolts one two three four so right now what i'm doing is i'm getting a part number i'm gonna go get one then uh once i have it uh we will go ahead and replace it and uh show you how simple it is uh, this one is a 2016 so it shouldn't be it shouldn't have to be getting retro or anything like that the older ones you have to retrofit it because I think it comes with some extra harness and stuff like that but yeah this is pretty 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 straightforward you take off this cover with four bolts and I believe they're all 9 16 14 millimeter 9 16 and take off those four take this thing off then take off those four, just slide it out, stick the new one in, tighten it down, and put everything back in, plug in, and you should be good to go. I think you have to go on the computer and, and clear the uh, the codes, clear the codes, and uh, everything should be fine. Well, let me take you along on the journey. Enough talking, let's do some work. Okay, so I got the actuator out. Um, you can actually smell it burnt i mean it's 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 it's, it's a goner um this is the part number on it uh four three zero six six five one and it supersedes with a k4252 rx or k2 k4252 that's the new one it's silver and it's you know it's exactly the same thing but uh this is this is the clutch actuator, I got it, I got it on my tailgate and uh, you can tell it's, it was just it was just caked up and gone and you, it, it actually smells burnt 
it actually smells burnt but anyway i'm gonna go get a new one uh and uh i'll come and i'll show you the installation process all right thanks all right guys i'm back got the new the new actuator um this is the super seated one and um like I said it's got the it's got the uh, the extra harness that you put for different applications I guess and that's the new one the K um, 4252 so when you put it in you know of course you just have to there's a pin there's a pin on the actuator the pin right here that helps you align with this hole right here so you don't put it backwards so this hole right here the pin has to slide slide through that so you just <laughs> stick it in there just take off excessive dirt and just you know clean it as best as you can inside of it just be careful not to get that stuff drop on your face in your eyes but uh, that spindle right there fits right there and it's aligned by this pin on this hole right here then you just stick it in you turn it uh, then you stick it in you turn it then you know then make sure your wires are facing backwards so you don't put it backwards you know like your wires facing the front of the truck they should be facing the back of the truck and uh, let me show you how it looks when it's on there all right so when it's all said and done this is how it looks like the actuator is in position plugged in it comes with a new harness and a set of zip ties i'm gonna clip these i just left my wire cutter in my truck then just these these new harness plug into the existing ones they're the same plugs just plug it in then tie them tie them off so they don't hang they'll give it comes with zip ties to tie them off so they don't hang and get snagged uh pretty much then you put the new cover of course they took off a, a metal cover and put a plastic one uh and uh the metal one doesn't fit on there so you have to use the provided one uh but anyway this is how it is i'm gonna go back inside reset it on the computer and we should be mobile anyway just the four bolts on the actuator the four bolts on the cover it goes in the same way you took out the other one with the plugs facing back pretty simple process just if, if, if when you take off the old one just take pictures then re reference back but it pretty much goes back the way the old one went in and this is how it looks it looks all nice and shiny all right i'm gonna go inside and uh get on the computer and uh reset it show you how to do that all right so back in the computer first thing that i'll do is i'll clear the four codes All right, no four calls detected. Then you go to service routine. Then uh, first thing you clear, you clear clutch data or the clutch data. Clear clutch data. Okay, sorry, it's supposed to be engine off, key on. You clear the clutch data. All right, and then clearing, just clear it, good measure. Service position, open clutch, and all that good stuff. Once you clear clutch data, clear one more time. All right, 
all the memory has been cleared then you should be good to go uh, on the system